Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn about inheritance. So in general word, what do we mean by inheritance? Inheritance is some of the properties which we gain from the parent. Okay, just like in uh, talking in terms of real world. Okay, we inherit something from our parents. Okay, your hair color should be uh, somewhat similar to your parents. Okay, there are some properties which we inherit from our parents. Okay, that thing we have implemented over programming. And how it can be done? We are going to see a live example over programmers. Okay, so what we are going to do is we are going to create a class and father. So the initial will be capital. Make sure. Okay, and then we are going to define a function over here. Father owns the land, and then I'm going to define the uh, default parameter that is self, and we are going to print that the father owns land. This land is owned by the father. And can be inherited by the son. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another class that would be son. And since father is superior to him, right? By superior, what do I mean? That father is the parent child, right? So here, in order to define the relation, I'll type father over here, and then I'm going to type the properties of the son. So let's say the son is rich, right? So son owns the land. Okay. So passing the default argument and then printing the statement. The son owns money. Okay. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an object. So the object name would be anything. So let us write obj and it is an object of son. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it with the object. So obj dot land and obj dot bank. So what is happening in the back end? Let me explain you. Okay, first of all, we created one class which is the parent class, and then we defined the properties of parent. We created another class and then defined the properties of the child. Then what in order to display the relation, what we did is in under the parentheses, under the circular brackets, we mentioned the name of the parent. Okay. And then what we did is we created the object for son class and then we called it called the parent property with the object of son. When we execute this, we, are, we will see that we are, all these statements are getting executed. This thing is known as inheritance that we are inheriting something from the super class or the parent class. Okay. Let me comment this thing out. Because this was pass without passing the arguments. Let me show you another example where in which we are going to pass the values with the arguments. So here what we are going to do is we are going to create a pro prototype for phone. Okay. And then from that we are going to inherit and we are going to optimize a smartphone. We are going to create an object and then we are going to call the uh, properties of phone and smartphone at the same time by passing the parameter. Okay. Let's get started. So class phone. Okay, and then we are going to initialize the value. Since we want to pass the parameter, this thing is very crucial and you have to pay attention for it. Okay, all right. So, def init underscore underscore init. This is no, this is used for initialization purpose since we are passing the parameters and the default parameter itself. What are the things that I will be printing over the phone? It would be the RAM. Okay, and the model number, so model underscore number. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to initialize the value. So self dot RAM would be equals to RAM and self dot model number would be equals to number, model number. Okay, this is done. Now we are going to define the properties for it. So define uh, show phone details. show underscore phone underscore details since we have already know the inheritance from the uh, uh, previous example we know that how it is working this will be very easier for you to understand okay so let us create this thing and the default value will be the default parameter would be self and then we are going to print this statement so print the ram is comma self dot ram First one is done. Then what's the next thing? It is the model number. So print the model number is 
सेल्फ डॉट मॉडल नंबर ओके दिस इज डन नाउ लेट एस क्रिएट दी अनादर चाइल्ड क्लास सो द चाइल्ड क्लास वुड बी स्मार्ट फोन ओके स्मार्ट फोन ओके नाउ वॉट विल डिफाइन दैट फोन इज सुपीरियर टू हिम दैट इट इज द सुपर क्लास when we write phone under it okay so this indicates that smartphone is been derived from the previous class that is the phone class okay now let us initialize the value for this particular thing as well so that underscore underscore in it underscore underscore now write all the properties that you want to display over the smartphone okay so the default will be self and then all the things so first of all i would like to display ram model number from the previous class model num and the unique properties of smartphone itself right okay so let us say the name comma camera okay now the next thing so uh, how would the program know that i have to take this particular values from the previous one by using the super keyword all right now let us take the values underscore underscore in it underscore underscore and now write the values that you want to take it from the parent so ram model underscore number so these are the things that we will be taking from the previous one and now define the values so self dot name equals to name and self dot camera will be equal to camera okay we have initialized the value now we are going to create the function for this particular thing as well right okay so let us write the function for this one def samsung underscore features okay so the object name would be samsung and hence i have written samsung over here right okay and the default parameter would be self and let me write the print statement over here okay so the name of the product is self dot name okay and print the name the camera is okay the camera is of company self dot camera then okay now what i am going to do is i am going to create a object for this so what is the syntax for writing object object name equals to class name so samsung will be equals to smartphone and now we will be passing the parameters what are the things that we want to display over there right so let's say the ram of the phone would be 16 gb so 16 gb is the ram of the phone okay next thing is model number okay model number is cg hk underscore 45 this is the model number i am taking random things okay now what is the next thing that we want to take name of the product so name of the product is 